Alright guys, I've been working on a uh, concept about how to make these crystal glue cells more useful and really what people want to see is LEDs be driven off of them but that's really hard to do because these cells have such a high internal resistance that it doesn't allow any amps to go or flow through so people don't really focus on these cells too much so what people have been trying to do is use jewel thief type circuits like blocking oscillators and all that to um, pump up the volume of the voltage to get more or get the LED to light, which is fine, but they've been doing it with just one cell or one or a couple cells in parallel. And that's not gonna work with this particular idea of crystal cells I have here, here, these uh, glue crystal cells because uh, what the jewel thief and Blocking oscillators do is that they sacrifice amperage to give you more voltage. So I can't, I can't do that. So I have no amperage to sacrifice. So what I have to do is figure out another way to do it. So I'm testing out an idea for a circuit I'm working on, and this is just a rough concept idea. This is not the actual circuit. This is the proof concept that you can do this type of thing. So what's important is that you need voltage, you need current, and you need time. Those are the three factors you need to get a useful amount of power out of these cells. Since I don't have current, so I'll have to um, work with voltage and I'll have to work with time. And I can do that very simply with just a capacitor and putting these cells in series. So what I've done here is I've taken three crystal glue cells and I've put them in series. You only need about three volts to light an LED like this up. And these and together are making about 3.5 volts roughly. But they have a uh, much lower amperage than just say just one since they're in series because their amps are going down so they have very low amps in them now and I can't just take them and put these three in series and expect the power in a LED even though I got three volts here I'll show that now you can see that they're in series and it doesn't light the LED up very well it's not you can't even tell on the camera but it's barely lit I can't do that so what I have to do is something quite different. I have to sacrifice time variable. So um, what I do is I put these in three in series and I have them charge up a capacitor, a very low farad capacitor. This one in particular is about, I think, 2.2 microfarads. So what I do is the capacitor charges up really quickly because it's a very low farad. And it charges it up to the voltage of these uh, cells. And the great thing about capacitors is that, is that it has a very low internal resistance, which means I can have that current that I need to power the LED. Because you can't just power an LED with purely voltage. You can, but not in this configuration. So what I did is I sacrificed time to get more current. And I can show you that you get a blink with the LED. So that shows you that there's power charging this capacitor up. I can blink it again. So what I've done is I took the time variable and I took the voltage variable and made it to where I can have more current now. So if I do this timing just right, I can have a bright LED. So what I'm thinking about is having a very low fare capacitor charge up to the voltage of these three in series, maybe five in series, I don't know. Um, capacitor charges up, then have a timing mechanism or something where a transistor turns on, sends all that power that's in this capacitor to an LED like this one so that it will blink like that. And that's what I'm thinking about doing. And it's just proof of concept that you can do this. So this is how you power a LED or, or yeah, pretty much an LED on just purely voltage. Because this is what the crystal blue cells are. They're just voltage. There's really no amps. Like particularly this this one right here, this one gives me about three microamps. That's not enough to power an LED. And yet alone, that's not powerful enough to power um, a jewel thief for really a blocking oscillator. So I have to work with a time variable. So I got three volts here from these three cells in series. I charge a capacitor, and I can blink an LED. If I do that fast enough, I get steady light from the LED, and you can do whatever you want. You just have a small enough capacitor where it charges up fast. They charge it fast. If you do it fast enough, faster than the eye can pick up, then you are gravy, really. It's all good. And that's my idea for a circuit, and this is just a proof concept. So I thought I would share that with you guys.